Okay, let's get some practice on defining our own functions now um, based on a given criteria. So I've got this assignment here and we're going to write a bunch of functions. The greeting function that we kind of did before, we'll, we'll test it out. Um, a Heron's formula function, a within range function, a Fahrenheit to Celsius, distance, analyze number, and valid username. That's it. Okay, so I'll share this document with you and each table basically gives you the criteria for the function. This is the, the name of the function. This is its purpose. This is the data that the function takes in and this is the return data and a little example of how it could be used. Okay, um, and I'll, I'll, I'm going to do these solutions, but I really want you to try them on your own first and then just watch me to check your answer or if you're still still trying to figure this out um, and, and I'll introduce kind of how the assignment works. So this is the, the greeting function and, and what it's supposed to do. And then I have some start code for you. So I'll share a link to this document. And then I also have some start code for you. And the start code is pretty cool. I've got it running right now. And basically there's two JS files. Do not touch this one. These are all the different tests that I wrote. And when I run the program, you'll see it's failing all of these tests. There's greeting, Megan, morning, Azure afternoon one. It's failing all of them because greeting is not defined. Inside of this functions.js is where we're supposed to define our functions based on that criteria. And I have the link here as well to that document. Okay, so the greeting function, I need to define a function called greeting. And now even though this is an empty function, it, it's a different error now, <clears throat> right? It's not saying, hey, that format function is not defined because now it is defined. It's just saying I expected um, undefined to equal, hello, Megan, have a great morning. Right, this function is not returning anything. So I actually could, I could get it to pass this first test by simply saying, hello, Megan, have a great morning. So return, hello, Megan, have a great morning, exclamation mark. And I think, oh, did I spell something wrong? It should do it. Hello, Megan. Oh, have a, oh, oh great, there's an error in my test. Awesome. Is there? Oh, what did I do? Oh, no, it's an error right here. My test is okay. Sorry. Yeah, see, and now this first one here has a check mark, right? It passed that one, but the other two don't work because it's always going to return, hello, Megan, have a great morning. We know how to fix that, right? We have to give it a name parameter and a time of day parameter. We change this to uh, a back tick here. And then instead of morning, we'll insert our time of day. And instead of Megan, we'll insert the name. I'll save that. And I spelled this wrong, time of day. Hey, and then all three of these pass, right? Because the greeting function is now doing what it's supposed to do, right? If we look here, um, it's supposed to take in a name and a time of day, name and a time of day. I'm supposed to return, hello name, have a great time of day with an exclamation mark. Okay, so it's it's it meets the criteria. Um, so it's doing what it's supposed to do. We define that function, function greeting, name, time of day. It returns, hello, name, have a great time of day. And then we can see that it passes all of the tests. All right, so that's the main idea. Um, and now there's a space here for the Heron's formula, the within range, all the other ones. So we're going to get some good practice here just defining functions so they match the criteria that's been described. And then the test here will, will let you know whether it's it's been done properly or not. Okay, hope that made sense. Take care and see you in the next video.